The vice president said economic opportunities for people with disabilities are often limited by poor access or completion of education, poor access to health care, joblessness, and workplace discrimination. He says despite progress in advancing freedom of speech, assembly, the right to privacy, food, education, and health, the right to the enjoyment of social development face numerous challenges. Bumba Bitter remarks in his speech delivered on his behalf. Deputy Director in the Office of the Vice President, Mercy Kufuna, says they identified key issues such as poor access to sanitation, education, health, and lack of adequate nutrition, which will enjoy the highest priority. As a committee, when we're deliberating with our stakeholders, which is the UN team, this workshop is not going to talk about all the barriers that persons with disability face because we cannot digest them in three days. We have got key thematic areas that we are going to focus on. One of them is accessibility, disaster risk management, health, sanitation, education. Education is key because we can never talk about employment if we don't address education. And we cannot talk about primary education if we don't address pre-primary education. According to the 2011 census disability report, 48,000 people were jobless due to disability. On her part, education specialist at UNICEF, Dr. Aune Victor, pledged her organization's support towards developing practical guidelines for improving the welfare of persons with disabilities in Namibia. So for us as a UN, we are working together with government, and in particular the Office of the Vice President, Disability Affairs, to ensure that we go out and do a lot of advocacy in terms of addressing some of the challenges with regard to stigma and discrimination, negative attitudes towards persons with disabilities, and to make sure that uh, the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities or the Convention on the Right, right of the Child are uh, really localized, Namibianized, and implemented up to the level of the home of the whole house. Meanwhile, Chairperson of the Namibia Federation of Persons with Disabilities, Daniel Trum, says the reclassification of Namibia as an upper-middle-income country has affected their financial well-being. Those years we used to talk about donors. And since Namibia has been classified as a higher and in medium-income country and all the donors are, are leaving the country to go out uh, to other poorest countries, so that's where we started losing our donors. Then we turned to our government to cry to our government that, please, can the government fill up the gap which the, the donors has leave, uh, left. But now, the government also now it's under the junk status. The workshop was initiated by the Office of the Vice President in collaboration with UN agencies. Uh, NBC News.